Hi, this is Chef Dave Bishop from the Chef to You. Today I'd like to show you how to make beef pot pie. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at our ingredients and get started. We have a pie crust right here. I'm using the Pennsylvania Dutch. Um, sweet peas, frozen, diced potatoes, carrots, celery, and onions, all about a half inch dice, some butter for sauteing, salt, garlic, black pepper, flour for thickening later on, and I got two containers of water, oil for some sauteing also. Also right here I've got some uh, beef. Um, I got beef for stir fry, not beef for stewing. The reason I did this is by using this meat, the meat's already tender because it's a tender cut. If I were to choose to use beef stew meat, then it'd take about an hour and a half. We should be able to finish this whole project in a half an hour. Cut this meat up, you want about an inch and a half strips. Take your sharp knife. They're already lined up in nice neat rows for us, so it makes it easy. Move that one out of the way. I'm going to leave it right here on the cutting board because it's going in the fry pan in just a minute here. Let's go ahead and put our meat in the pan. We're going to about two tablespoons of olive oil. Slot of meat in there. One half teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of garlic, and a half teaspoon of salt. This is going to, we're going to do about five minutes browning this really well. You want to brown the tips really well on this to get this flavor. The meat is sauteing. Let's go ahead and saute our vegetables. We're going to go in with two tablespoons of butter, two medium potatoes. One stalk of celery cup, one medium carrot peeled and diced, one medium onion, I grab my salt and pepper, I put a little bit of black pepper in here, a little bit of salt to taste, I'm going to stir this up, we want to sweat these, we do not want to saute, we don't even want to sweat them. That's going to bring the natural flavor of these potatoes and the carrots and the celery and the onions out. I'm going to put some water in here in just a couple minutes and I'm actually going to make a pot liquor with a good broth to go in that uh, pot pot. And back here, I still got my stewed meat going. I'm going to trade places. See my stewed meat is nice and brown. See a nice uh, uh, browning on the bottom of the pan. I'm going to reach out of the screen here and put my one cup of water into my meat. Stir this around really good. I want to get all those cracklings and all that brown on the bottom of the pot. I want to loosen all that up. That's all part of the flavor. On with the lid. We got things out of reach tonight. Going on with the lid. Reduce the heat. It's going to the back. Let this simmer about 20 minutes. I add my peas now. That way they cook along with the vegetables so they don't feel too raw when you eat it later on, being a frozen vegetable. I got one and a half cups of water here. We're going to pour it just to cover these potatoes and carrots. We don't want any extra water. As you see, it's just enough to cover. We're going to put the lid on. Let this uh, come to a boil, then we reduce the heat, and then wait for the potatoes to get tender. We have about 10 minutes before the potatoes and the meat are done. We're going to roll out a pie crust and get it ready. We'll take a little bit of flour, put it in the middle right here. I got a three pound uh, ball of Pennsylvania Dutch pie crust. Uh, on one of my previous videos, you can go ahead and watch how we make this. I'm going to roll a little bit this way to start out with. And we're going to roll lengthways. We want this uh, fairly thin, about an eighth of an inch. Add a little bit more flour on top, a little bit more in my rolling pin. I believe that's going to be thin enough. Let's take a look. Yeah, about an eighth of an inch all around here. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a pizza cutter. I'm going to cut this into strips, about an inch to an inch and a half wide. Saying we're not going to worry about seeing these odd pieces. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take these, lay them right in the bottom of the pan, 
take get some over here get some of the odd pieces over here this big chunk at the top I'm going to go ahead and take all this right here say chef what are you doing I like uh, crispy crust in my pie uh, pot pies so I'm taking some of these scraps I'm going to uh, place these in the oven for about 10 minutes so they get nice and crispy when I put my filling on top later they'll be crispy at the bottom and crispy crust on top makes it outstanding Crush this uh, pie crust. What I've got here is some milk, about an uh, eighth of a cup. I've already started brushing it. This is what you call a dorer, D-O-R-E-R. -E it's a mixture of milk and eggs and just milk. You brush it on a pie crust, so it gives it a golden crust when you uh, bake it in the oven. Our beef is done. We just checked our potatoes, and they're tender. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my potato liquid and pour it into the uh, steak meat. I have here three quarter cup of water, cold water, and quarter cup of flour stirred really well. We're going to pour it into this uh, steak and liquid mi uh, mixture and let it cook till it thickens. Maybe a minute or two. This is what's going to give our body to our uh, pot pie. Look how smooth that is. It's been about a minute and a half. Got a nice gravy right here. Let's go ahead and pull the lid off our potatoes. We're going to pour that mixture right in there. Our potatoes and carrots are all in there. Let's go ahead and take this off the stove. We do not want to cook this anymore. The crust that we baked is, uh, just came out of the oven. Pan's good and hot. You're going to hear it. We're going to pour all this filling into this pie pan. Spread it out really good. Let's take a look at this before we uh, put our crust on it. Look at this good color here. We got our potatoes, carrots. You still see the uh, bright green peas on here. The meat dice is nice size. You could actually make this uh, a beef stew dish without even putting a crust on here. You know it's got a nice thick gravy. It's even bubbling a little bit around the corners where this pan was so hot. I'll we'll start at this edge. We're gonna go corner to corner. We're gonna crisp first, then we're gonna cross later. Come across, leave about a half inch, three quarter inch. What I do is I try to push my corners down. I'm going to take a long one. Break it right here. See if I'm long enough for that side. Perfect. Take another long one, corner to corner. And finish it up over here. Let's take a look at this beautiful picture we got right here. We got it crisscross, we got it trimmed out. Last thing we want to do is take a paper towel, wipe around the edge in case any flour so it doesn't burn on the pan. We're going to put this in the oven for 20 minutes or until a nice golden brown on the top. I'll see you in 20. Okay, here's our finished product. Let's take a look at it. Nice golden crust. Nice hot uh, pot pie underneath it. I'm going to let this stand for about 10 minutes. Okay, I just pulled a little bit of it back. Let's look at that uh, nice gravy in there. Nice color still. Beautiful product. Let's let this stand about 10 minutes and we'll go ahead and plate it up. Let's go ahead and plate this up. Let's give myself a nice big portion of it. We have steam still on it. Nice crispy crust, nice chunks of meat, nice firm vegetables. It wasn't too hard of a dish. About a half an hour of preparation, 20 minutes in the oven, and 10 minutes to cool, be ready to go to the table. Delicious dish. You won't find a frozen pot pie like this one. This is Chef Dave Bishop cooking and teaching. Until next time, may God bless.